Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in my this particular video, I am going to discuss one very interesting concept related to statistics. And if you are uh, working in data science or machine learning domain, then surely you should know this because sometimes uh, it can become a trap for your exploratory data analysis part. Okay, that is Simpson's paradox which is nothing but misleading statistical inference. Misleading means sometimes if we compute statistics for my data uh, using some particular sample part, that time it might happen that statistics can tell us lie. Okay. And let me explain that how or what is this. It is often observed that there is a trend appears in different groups of data, but disappears or reverses when we aggregate the data and treat it as a unique group. Okay. So in simple words, I can say you are having your population data. Now you take small, small samples out of it. In samples, you might find a trend. Okay. Uh, in different, different samples, you might find different, different trends. Now, when you are combining all the samples and again creating the population and you are looking into the population, that time that particular trends which you were observing in the samples might disappear or completely get reversed in the population. Okay, that's what the Simpsons paradox is all about. Now, it will be much more clear if we visualize this concept and let me discuss with the example. CLC clear or closer warning of as we generally write. Then here I am taking my X and Y to data. Okay. Having length 10, right? I am taking first five points. Okay. And plotting here using C color. Okay. And then giving hold on to plot in same figure window. And then next I am plotting the rest five data points, last five data points using green color. Okay. So if I just uh, run, I can get my data, right? But I will be showing you later. First observe what I am doing. Then I am using LS line command to fit least square regression line on these two data separately. So two uh, least square line will be created. One will be uh, trying to fit this first five data points on our uh, figure window properly. And another LS line will try to fit this five last five data points on our figure window properly. Okay. So two regression line will be getting. Now suppose I want to get the regression line or best fit line for the overall data. For that what I have done, I have simply used the concept of linear regression which I have discussed earlier. This one is nothing but the uh, code, very popular code uh, to find out the least square regression line, right? If you just want to know the detailed explanation of the code, please go through the link given in the description box because I have already explained this particular concept and many examples related to linear regression in detail. I am plotting my actual data points and this here is the fitted line. So this fitted line is for overall data, not first five or last five and then giving hold off. Okay. And then what I am doing, I am computing the correlation for first five data points. I am computing the correlation for last five data points. And then here I am computing the overall correlation of over whole data set. Okay. Now what I'll be doing, I'll be simply clicking on run. And here you might see the picture. Just observe properly what is happening. So this point, this point, this point, this point, this point, here, 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 and here. These are my total data points present in this data set, 10 data points. First five data points is plotted here. Next five data points are plotted here. Now you can clearly understand. If you observe the first five data points, you can understand that there is a high positive correlation present. Similarly, if you observe this last five data points, there is also a high positive correlation present, right? And the LS line, least square uh, or minimum error line, straight line also is uh, drawn here using LS line. But if you just compute the regression line for overall data set, you will be getting the line like this. So what is happening? From this line, we can clearly understand that there is a very little relationship or almost no relationship present in between uh, these data points. Okay. 
so that's what is simpson effect is all about you can see high correlation or very high linear relationship between first five data points a part of data also very high strong relationship in between last five data points but when you are observing the data as a whole this particular property is disappearing and you can check the correlation correlation for first five rows 0 0.9869 correlation for last five rows 0 0.9899 but correlation for overall data set minus of 0 0.0780 very less almost zero so actually in the small small parts of our data in groups we can find out one particular statistical property which is indicating that there is a very high linear relationship present in between them but when you are observing our overall data that relationship is gone okay that is all about simpson relationship and this particular picture beautifully tells this whole story let me just do this see here you can see that this is one cartoon picture you just consider small small groups like these two consider as group you can understand that there is a linear relationship you can consider this one as also another group where you can consider one linear, linear relationship uh, that is negative correlation we can say this one also following negative correlation one as an individual group and this one also following individual uh, sorry negative correlation as a group but if you draw the regression line for overall data set or if you compute the correlation for overall data set it appears that best fit line looks like this which is indicating that positive correlation okay so although in the individual individual groups there is negative correlation but overall we are getting positive correlation that is the property which we can find in small small groups when you are treating the different different groups as a whole the trend completely get reversed or it is completely disappeared okay this is what is all about simpson's paradox which sometimes mislead from the statistical inference okay right so i hope you have enjoyed this particular topic this is all for my this video i'll be providing the code in the description box or in the comment section if you want you can go through that and if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my latest videos thank you